Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik, a CPA and a certified QuickBooks Online expert. I work with clients throughout the U.S. on all of their QuickBooks Online needs. Learn more about me at QuickBooksOnlineExpert.com. We're looking right now at the home screen where you can get some dashboard information about your income, expenses, profit and loss, well as activities that need your attention, and information about your bank account, including bank and credit card balances, and transactions that need to be downloaded. Next, we'll go to the left navigation bar, and we'll look at the Customer Center. Customer Center lists all of your customers, pending invoices, balances, as well as quick menus that you can access in order to create transactions. You'll also see at the top a money bar showing you open invoices, past due invoices, etc. You can also click on each customer to get more information about that customer, including email, phone number, address, open balances, and past transactions. Next, we'll go to the Vendor Center. The Vendor Center looks exactly that, like the Customer Center, except that it lists all of your vendors. You still see a money bar, see your list of vendors, and you can also click on Vendors to look at information about that specific vendor and past transactions. Next, we'll look at Transactions menu now highlight the banking transactions. This is where you download all of your bank and credit card transactions. You see all of your accounts on the left, transactions that are downloaded on the right, and they're just waiting for you to assign a vendor and an income or expense category. So here we'll choose accounting click Accept, and then we just enter that transaction into QuickBooks. Next, we'll select Sales. This will show us all of our sales transactions that we've done in the past, and also include a money bar. By the way, with this money bar, all of these are clickable fields. So when I click on Open Invoices, now I can see what all of my open invoices are. When I click on Expenses, I'll see a list of all of the latest transactions that I've had, such as credit card expenses, cash expenses, and checks written. Next, we'll look at Registers. This lists all of our accounts that we can click on, such as our checking account, and look at our checking account register. This shows us all of our activity in our checking account register, and then we can easily click here to reconcile that account. There's also a reports menu. First you can look at a quick depiction of your income and expenses for the past 30 days and look at various reports within QuickBooks Online including recommended reports, reports that you run on a frequent basis, your customized reports, and then a list of all reports. Next I'll cover the quick create menu and it's this little plus sign right up here. When you click that, you'll see that it kind of rotates, turns into an X. And when you click Show More, you see all of the transactions categorized by customers, vendors, employees, and other, and all of the various types of transactions that you can create directly from here. So if I wanted to enter a vendor bill, all I have to do is click right there, and it'll take me to vendor bills that I can enter. Just going to close. Next, I'll show you the settings menu, it's this little gear right here. And in it, we'll see company settings, chart of accounts, our list, such as our products and services list, and tools, including importing data, exporting data, and company information, such as managing users and adding new users to your company. Finally, you can just click and sign out. 
So that's a brief overview of the all new QuickBooks Online. To learn more about me and my services, visit QuickBooksOnlineExpert.com and my blog, 5MinuteBookkeeping.com.